Hey, it's me, Aqua Teal, and this is day negative five. And I just want to explain what that means. In the beginning, I put up a, a calendar. So my first day here was July 18th. And that day I just got my port and they did one round of chemo. And how that works, they count it from day negative six to like negative six to negative zero. And then zero will be the transplant date. That'll be the date they would give me back my blood marrow. And then that's when they'll start counting one, two, three, like that. And then I'll tell you guys how it goes. Basically, I'll be doing the first six days will be chemo. And then after chemo, I'll get my blood bone marrow back. And then from there on out, I'm basically recovering and just seeing how my body reacts to my own blood marrow. So for me, since I got to use my own, it should be up to just four weeks. But if my body rejects my own barrel, bone marrow, I used to have, I'll have to use a donor and that'll take up to four months. I have a one year old son, so you can imagine how that will be if I have to stay here for four months. So uh, I just wanted to explain, well, I don't really know how, if you want to, you guys could Google up the treatments and all that stuff. But basically on the calendar, it just says the name of each chemo they giving me and the shots they're giving me and all that type of stuff. And after the 30th, they're just basically just monitoring and seeing if I'm getting healthier or sicker or if I'm not changing anything. So today is me. I'm 23 with Hodgkin's, Hodgkin's lymphoma. And this is day negative five. And it's your girl Aqua too. I really don't have much to say. I just wanted to show you guys my calendar. And since I really didn't know much about the chemo, they told me like they gave me this paper I had to sign with like the, what is it called? I do have that paper where I can explain and tell you guys all the chemo. So just give me one second, I'll go get that. So we can have something to talk about. It took a second because I'm on my IV and I have to drag it along with me. Just one second. I'll take a picture of this as well. So if you guys want to read it and look at it yourself, I'm not a strong, um, I'm not a strong reader in these medical terms. And I do have my body scan thing where they measure like my body fat, my body water, my mass and all that stuff and I'll go over that stuff too because I do want to have like a before, during and after to show you how much I got little or how much like how that went as well. So that'll be in just a second and that has to do with my eating and all that too. And if you watched my first video, I briefly talked about what I planned on doing with my eating and stuff like that. Oh wow, this isn't even the paper. Yeah, maybe I'll get the calendar. And I'll just try to read. I'll just put the picture up. If you guys want to look at it, then go ahead. I'll just put it up again after this, and then you guys could Google it if you like. If only if you like. So I started off. This was on the 17th. They did this. So my body weight is 167.5. My body fat is 52 pounds. My body mass, my lean body mass, is 115.51 my dry lean I don't know what that is is 31 pounds and 0.1 pounds my total body water is 84.4 that was just my mom calling so I could talk to my son. And then the nutritionist came in and she brought me a menu for when I become neutropenic. 
And then these are like the type of items. I'm going to take a picture and put it up. These are like the things that I'm only allowed to eat when my levels are low. So basically my levels are low, meaning that my body really can't fight off anything. So then I can't eat the fresh fruits and vegetables because... You know, the germs and pesticides and stuff like that can interfere. Then she bought me, like, room service for, like, what I can eat now. Like, I can eat anything now. But I'm doing my juicing, so this stuff for breakfast and lunch and dinner. But I'm not going to use any of this. Only once I do my stir-fry and stuff, they list, like, all the veggies and stuff they have available here. So then I have to go through and pick out from there. But thanks, guys, for tuning in. This your girl, Aqua Till, and I'll be back soon. Hopefully, guys, tune in on my month journey. I'll do a video once I do my yoga and stuff. I'm going to take a before picture and an after picture, so as time goes on, be looking out for that, too. Thank you. I forgot to add in the process because on the calendar it has date well in July when I first started so the day after the 4th of July they started to give me shots that was supposed to help boost up well not boost up my levels basically to pull all my bone marrow and all that and pull it to my veins sorry I was interrupted that first video I was doing was basically just explaining what I did the week before it was time for me to come I was supposed to do that for a week then they collected all my bone marrow and then I was supposed to stay home for like two weeks to rest and then come back. But they did it a little sooner so I ended up coming in like a couple days, more like a week. So they just gave me shots at 6 something in the morning and then 6.30 at night for six days. And it just trans uh, just brought all my bone marrow to my vein. Then they just put like one of these type of things in the main artery in my leg and then we collected it and it took like six hours or so. That was easy. I slept most of the whole time. And then they like freeze it and count. They counted it first to make sure I didn't have to collect the next day. But once they got done, I was good. Then once they pulled out the thing, I had to lay down flat for like two hours with a sandbag on it so it could stop the bleeding. And I couldn't drive home or anything because I could start bleeding using my leg too much. So that was the process before I started for the collection. That took a week. Then collection was just one full day. And then I came back the next week. They just did like blood work and did all that stuff. And now I'm here to do chemo for a week. And then they'll give me my my blood marrow back. So that's what I'm doing now. Chemo. And hopefully this was just day one. Well, okay, okay. I'll, I'll replace it. Okay, do you see the stitches in there? I'll remove that one. I'm oh, sorry, let me do this one again. Ready to pull? I'll count to three, and then you go down, hold your breath. Ready? One, two, three. <coughs> Sorry. Ooh. Jeez Louise. Ooh. That's the hard part. I'll hold pressure for like 10 minutes and I'll put the sand back on. It's burning.
What are we doing? Okay, so this called is it uh, the medication is pentamidin, mm -hmm. so that you don't get fluid in your lungs. It's right. called pneumonia. So okay, this pneumonia. is like a preventive drug, so that you don't get pneumonia. What mm -hmm. happens with all the medications? Our immune system go down, and the chances of getting pneumonia is high. Okay. So this is done inside the tent, uh, because whoever is giving you or whoever else is in the room should not breathe. Right. And this is a filter which we turn on. So when you exhale, it would filter the air. So I have to say under a tent. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, there are two side effects. Cough, which yeah. is usual, like it happens. The other thing is bronchospasm, like you have, feel like shortness of breath. Okay. Very rarely that happens. If that happens, I have a with me. Okay. So I can give you a bronchodilator. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna uh, stop it so I can fast forward the process of him putting it together so you guys can hear what he just explained to me and then I'll just have another video fast forward of him putting it together. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and then I just, uh, so I wouldn't have to or forget for dinner, I did the soup and then another drink for her before I go to bed. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be like a mushy type of thing. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Basically, I just got my throat hurting and my chest hurts and it has a really nasty taste. But I am all finished now and then I'll just continue to talk about what we talked about before he came in. Okay, I'm all done with the breath machine, breathing machine. It took like 10, 15 minutes, not even that. He put like this white stuff in there and I had to just breathe it in. It just made my throat and chest hurt and it tasted really bad. And it's supposed to help so that I won't get... I just watched a video to redo it. Excuse me. What is what's that thing called in your chest when you get sick? When you get sick, pneumonia. Pneumonia. In your lungs. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you is? I went to the bathroom too. That's fine. I was yeah. gonna you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So that I won't get pneumonia. Simple, easy, but it just tastes nasty, and that's what that was. Didn't take long either. Uh, but what I would say. Okay. May I look at your name, Ben? Yes. All right. Can you please state your name? How do you say it? Quasia. Quasia. We're, I, I'm actually kind of wondering how do you say it. Yeah. Quasia. Mm -hmm. Quasia. All right. So you're doing good? I'm doing fine. Okay. Usually uh, when patients are admitted here in the stem cell unit prior to the, you know, transfer, whatever, doctor usually orders therapy. Yeah. So we can kind of see you mm -hmm. and uh, see how you're doing. And that way if there's a need for therapy to see you while you're here, we can follow up on okay. you. Okay. So you're doing good? Yeah. Have, are you independent? Right now, yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good. So you're able to safely get in and out of bed? Mm -hmm. You're able to stand up? No yep. problem. You're able to walk well? Go to the Did you walk out in the hallway? Nope. No? Yeah, I will in a little bit. Okay. Is it okay if I see you walk? Yeah. That way I get to see how your mobility is. It's nice for me to see too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, any pain, any discomfort right now? No. No? Just okay. my legs just tingle and hurt a little bit. Oh, your leg tingling and hurting? Yeah. Do you need to wear a mask? Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah. Are you I'm ready? just vlogging. Oh. Yeah, my month in the cancer treatment. I see. Yeah. I was like wondering why you're holding your phone. <laughs> okay. okay, now before we go for a walk, I'd like to see how your heart rate is and how your breathing is, okay? Yeah. Oh, it's really warm in your room, huh? 
Yeah, they, I turned it down at night because I sweat. Oh, okay. But when I got out the shower this morning, it was kind of cold, so they turned That's it up. That's why you turned it up. You like yeah. it though right now, the way it is? Okay. So right now, 98 and 95. Right now, you're saying you're tingling? Yeah, my legs. Just your legs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Both legs? Yeah. Oh, uh, if you rate the number from one to two, is that normal? Yeah. Not yeah, it started when I had cancer the first time. Okay. And then it just came back. And then when I'm on my menstrual cycle, it does it a lot. So it, it just came back right now? Yeah. Now, do you take anything for it? Nope. nope. Just the pain medicine if it's intolerable. It's intolerable. But right now, it's not bad? Nope. What number would Probably it? like a seven. About a seven. Over ten, huh? Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Yep. Oh, okay. I'm going to time how many, how many, uh, is this your first one? Eat no is my fourth, fourth time, time. yeah, fourth, third. Thank you. It's your fourth time here. You know what? I need to fix this. It's <laughs> okay, recovered. I told them to bring me pants, so when mm -hmm. I do leave the room, but they haven't yet. I see. Are you okay pushing the IV pole? Because uh, yeah. I can push it too. Okay. okay. There you go. And I'm holding it. You want me Is to right hold here? it? No, no, come over this way to the left. Okay, so we can go, go around. around. Yeah. No, no, it's, okay. I think I left your door open. Okay. Okay. Are we okay so far? Yeah. Did you want to walk again? We can. Okay, stop before. Yeah, thank you. Now, the second one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to time it and okay. see how long you can do one lap. So it kind of gives me an average of your time. I'm sorry. Thank it's you. It's okay. Okay. Hold on, not the calculator, duh. Mm -hmm. Cancel. Time. So I'm going to use my stopwatch and then reset. All right. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Let's go ahead and start. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Is it okay? Yeah. All right. Want to go back to the room now? Yeah. All right. Did that make you tired? All the walking? No. no. How long did it take? Almost a minute. So three times a day, I'll be doing your. All right. Now, before you were sick, before this happened, yeah, you're always been independent. You're doing yeah. everything yourself. Yeah. Never needed help with anything. Yeah. Never used to a dis assistive device or anything like that. I just when I had back surgery, a little help. I'm sorry. What? When I had back surgery, I needed a little help. Oh, you yeah. had back surgery? Yeah, when I was 18. Oh, I had so back, back surgery. surgery, but that was a while ago. Yep. You were 18. That's right now. You're 23. Mm-hmm. Okay, but since then, been fine. You're fine. You're just do you live by yourself? Yeah, me and my son. Okay. Have a, he'll be two in September. Oh, he's his son. He's going to be two years old in September. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Messiah. Beautiful name. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Like a messenger, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Uh-huh. All right. No, Messiah is like a savior. <laughs> Something like that. A savior, yeah. Okay. Like in the biblical. Yep. Okay. So you live, where do you, do you live in a house? or apartment? Uh, apartment. Okay. Is do you have any stairs to no, manage? I'm on the bottom level, first floor, no stairs. Anybody else that are able to help you? When you like if right I now, need help, my mom home. has them now. Oh, okay, your mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you need help, she's a she's, she's the one that's helping yeah, you. Yeah, my mom, it. my grandma, my sister. Who else? You got family support. Your family support. So who's here right now? No one, just me. Okay. Where are you from? Uh, North Chicago, Waukegan area. Oh, you're close yeah. by. It's not like you're <laughs> North Chicago, all right. Okay. Did you work? Yeah. Okay. At I first working. I did. I had two jobs. I was working, working at a call center. Okay. And I was doing uh, home care. And then you're doing home care? Yeah. What kind of home care? I just took a patient. He was in a wheelchair. And uh -huh. I used to just get him up dressed in the morning, get him breakfast. And then he'll be able to do all the other stuff. And then we'll just go to the, the Starbucks for a little bit and just talk. And then go home. Just a little company. So it's like, a, okay. Is it, is it like an older patient? Yeah, okay. he didn't see black people until he was in college, so he's old. Yeah. Really? But he's very good. Like he he forgets and he talks about a lot a lot of the same things. But mm -hmm. other than that, he can do everything on his own and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. His money and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
but you, you help him in the wheelchair? Yeah, yeah, I just get him out of the bed, get mm -hmm. him baths or and dressed and out the bed. So do you have to? Is it like yeah, a physical I have to job? pick him up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, so you do have to help him. Yeah. I might not go back when I'm after this. That's not my goal. That was just for the time being. Yeah, to help with. Okay. Yeah. So right now you kind of stopped working. Yeah, I've been working for like six months now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions for me so far? Nope. Okay. Unless you have me some workouts you want me to do while I'm here. Oh, not really. Whatever the outpatient therapists work with you on, uh -huh. you still have those home exercises? Yeah. Things? You can actually continue those. Okay. But the thing is, oh, I was going to get Can I get something. a little band or something? I didn't bring Oh, you didn't bring your band? No. Okay. So here's the thing. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back here. I'm okay. going to do a full assessment. That way I can come back and work with you, work on some okay. exercise. And then also you have some tingling on your legs. Legs, yeah. Has April or the outpatient therapist ever talked to you about the... She showed me the little ma compressor machine, but I never did it. Oh, you never did it? No. Did you want to try it? Yeah, that would be It's called nice. the Rebuilder. Yeah. It's supposed to help with neuropathy. Yeah. Do you understand what neuropathy yeah. is? Is that what you think you have? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that what you think you have right now? Yeah. Because right? it started you said when you had the cancer. Yeah, the last time. And then were you undergoing like chemo treatment yeah. or something like that? So is it like a chemo-induced neuropathy? I think so. You think so because you started having Yeah, that? and it just gets worse during menstrual, but it comes and goes. And I used to get a lot of Charlie horse in, mm -hmm. and I think in my left leg, like mm -hmm. it'll lock, my knee will lock up. Oh, really? Yeah, when, yeah, if I bend it a certain way. I think it's my right. Okay. Now, usually it's contraindicated patients has a pacemaker mm -hmm. or any electrical. Right. Do you have anything implants in your body? Uh, I'm not sure what they did. They did like, uh, I had a bulging disc, so I think they just cut oh, out yeah, the bulge. Just the bulge. Yeah. yeah, that's a, that's a dissecting. Yep. But there's no pacemaker, nope. there's no eight, eight, what do you call those? Um, I had a port before, but not anyone. Oh, a port? Oh, oh no, I no. don't think. As long as it's not mechanical or thrown okay. by any machine inside your body, yeah. then it's okay. Any um, blood clots or anything like not that? Not that I know of. Okay. Um, trying to think what else. And you don't have any open areas on your no. feet or on the bottom? Because no. the reveal there, it's like an electrical pad. It, you put it on the, the soles of your feet, mm -hmm. and then that's when and then it does that. that, okay. that it's like a 10 unit. Have you ever and can they do it for my arms, too? You have some neuropathy yeah, in your in hand? Yeah, in my arms. Sure. Yeah. Well, is it hand or arm? Oh, it's like all of it. It's kind of going on? Yeah. Okay, so you also have it in your hand. Okay. What number would you give it on your hands? When I, I'm bearable, it hurts really bad, so it'll be a 10. It'll be a 10. Like How about right now? None right now. Zero right now. Yeah, it goes on hands and legs. Okay. okay. So what we do, we do a trial. Okay. And so it's like a six. Uh, you'll be here a while, so I'm thinking I'll try it next week, so it's a continuous day. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That way instead of moving around, doing it tomorrow, and then here's the day, and then maybe we'll start it on Monday. And then okay. You know, um, that way we'll continue it. And then I get to see you work on some exercise and walking. I'll build up your endurance. Because mm -hmm. when you go through all this, it kind of affects your endurance. Right now, you only walk two laps. Yeah. Do you feel like you're tired already? Yeah, or? I was just ready to sit down. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's why I asked, are you okay? I'm like, ah, oh, okay. Yeah. But you didn't say you're tired. So, yeah, just because my legs be hurting, I just be ready to yeah. sit down. So that's fine. That's fine. So those are things that I'm here I can work with. So, so okay. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll try that and see where it goes. Okay. All right. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Do you have any questions about the new set? No, they, uh, I used it when I went upstairs before, so I can do it. Very good. So you understand how to how set it up? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then when you use that, you have a guideline here mm -hmm. that makes sure you only use it when your platelet level are low. Uh, right? Yeah. So they you tell me I will bruise up and stuff if I exercise and my platelets are low. So you don't overexert. You always uh, pay attention to your lab values. I don't know if April gave you this. It's, um, It's called Motion for Life. Mm -hmm. Did she give you anything mm -hmm. like that? It's a good reading stuff to kind of help you out while you're here mm -hmm. with your workouts and, you know, understand this is good to know your lab values, mm -hmm. things like that, how to exercise, hydration, things like that. So it's good for you to read it, well, read you know, it. and make sure you keep it. That Thank way you, have, you. Okay, you can always, like, look at it, like, oh, what did no. the therapist say? Is it safe for me to walk right now? Mm -hmm. It's got information on your lab values and stuff, okay? Okay. And then, here's another one I'm going to give you. It's an activity line. Okay. So what I want when you to I do is, right, yeah, write down your activities. Like, today, I walk two laps with a therapist. You know, things like that. Those are good things, too. And then if you use the new step today, I did five minutes of the new step with resistance. One. You so can when I do steps. yoga and stuff, too? Yes, yes, please. Okay. Uh, what kind of yoga are you doing? Are you just doing the like beginners. A, it's just mostly on the ground, because mm -hmm. I usually... When I was doing my fasting and stuff, if I get up too quick, I'll pass out. So I just mostly do a lot of stretching and arm lifts. And mm -hmm. it's like a workout, a ground floor workout. 
Hopefully you get that on the floor. Yeah, they said they're going to bring me in a mat because they say, don't want me to go in the exercising room. Mm -hmm. But they said it's not clean, so I have to do it in here. They're going to bring me a clean mat. Mm -hmm. okay. That's my plan. Who's, who's going to bring you your clean mat? Uh, my nurse that I had, she was supposed to. I'll remind them because I'm going to get up in the morning and do it. So hopefully it's here by that time. All right. Well, make sure you don't do it if you're not feeling yeah, clear in the head. Like yeah, I'm if you're always... dizzy, I don't want you trying to go right. down because that's going to make you more off. Yeah. And I don't want you falling and hurting yourself or okay. your head. Okay? Yes. But there are other ways to work. You don't have to get down on the floor. Okay. All right? Yeah. Because that makes me nervous. When you said you get down yeah, on the floor, they tell me in a little good? while I'll have to call them every time I get out of bed. Uh -huh. So for now, I'm okay. Okay. Yeah, because you're going through this right now. Mm -hmm. pretty strong. So yeah. if, I think it's important if you're not feeling right, please make sure. You push the call or ask for assistance. I will. All right? Thank you. All right. So I'll come back and be seeing you. And nice meeting you. It is nice meeting you, too. All right. <laughs> you don't want to record with me saying, about your range of motion. There you go. Nice. Arms in front. Hold it there like you're stopping traffic. Don't let me push it down. Oh, is this okay? Yeah. Because your port is there. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to bring your arms like this. I'm going to push it down. Don't let me push. Ready? Mm, nice core. Mm -hmm. Okay. Arms like this. I'm going to pull. Do not let me pull. Good. Do not let me pull. Am I hurting you? Mm -mm. Okay. Relax your arm. Squeeze my fingers as hard as you can. Good. I'm going to push you. Don't let me push you. Go ahead. Squeeze my fingers. No. Don't let me push you. Good. Am I hurting you? Mm -mm. Good. Okay. Can you raise your right leg up or left? Hold it there. Good. How about this? Hold it there. Good. Extend those knees. Hold it. Good. How about this? Legs are strong. Arms mm -hmm. are strong. Very good. Thank you. What color is the band you're working on? Uh, it, I did yellow, but it was so weak, they gave me a red one. So a red one? Well, I'll bring you a red one. Thank you. No problem. 